trouble yourself, Toa. I can only read it on your face. You don't have to tell me. I'm sorry, Alibi. We looked everywhere, even through the river. But I think their scent must have gotten washed away. Why don't you come with us this time? No. I, I fear too much of what I won't find. Or what I will find. <sighs> Look, Alibi, I know you're upset. But if it makes you feel any better, I know your sister won't go through any harm. She's got the best stallion with her. Wh what? Hassan. There were another set of hoofprints with your sisters. She went with him. And I know for a fact that he has a major crush on her. He wouldn't let her get hurt. I promise you that. <laughs> well... I guess if she gets back... When she gets back. Right. When she gets back. I guess I have a few new teases for her. That's the spirit. Again, no. But Kaiwa, what about you? You've been working so hard. I can't let my lead mare do all of this. Well, I'm allowing you to. Now go rest. Be with your family. They need you. More than anything now. Alright, I'll go. But if you need anything, please, don't hesitate. kid, you look like you've seen a cougar. What? Is that your mother over there? I didn't officially introduce myself. I'm Induna. You? Lumpy. Goodness gracious, does everybody in this herd have to be so rude? Wait, Induna, I'm sorry, I was just thinking. You know, kid, I came here expecting to see a herd willing to take in anyone gladly. At least by my brother's tone it sounded nice, but I guess I was wrong. It's not like it's been that easy, especially not with this guilt. What are you? On the last full moon, a cougar tried to attack my herd. I managed to save them, but I'm still a bit weak. <sighs> yeah, I guess nothing has really been that easy. But what do you mean guilt? Did you have something to do with this? It's not like I meant to cause any trouble. I was just curious. I didn't mean to follow that horse into the woods. I didn't mean to stray off. I didn't mean to get caught in the- Calm down, kid. No one's blaming you for anything. We all make mistakes, right? Not ones that almost cost your father's life. My mother wants me to be the next leader after him. But how can I with my clumsiness? My curiosity will drive a herd right off a cliff if I ever take position to lead Stallion. <laughs> Calm down, kid. Calm down. With all that 
this hurt has gone through. It'll be a miracle if we make it out alive. We're on the eve of destruction. We cannot survive. Leader, if I may ask, what's the point of killing them if they do cross our path? Not them, Shane, but him. The heart and soul of the herd. The leader. Without him, the herd will collapse. They won't know what to do. Are you just gonna storm in there and expect them to fight? They may not be the brightest flower in the meadow, but they're not stupid. Believe me, I know that, Shane. Oh. I know it well. If they do happen to run into us, then, do you really think they'll hold their ground? Sir? I remember seeing that cougar lash into his throat and rip his stomach, but he held his ground. Not once did that stallion step back. He would have given his life for that arrogant little fool. Now after telling you this, Shane, do you really think they would flee if their herd's life depended on it? No, I, I guess not. Good. I'm glad you understand. Go back to the herd. I'll be there in a while. We will not survive this war together. Only one can.